Hi guys, this is week three Project Life and this week I am using the brand new Love Stories Life Crafted Kit from Citrus Twist. So as usual, I am starting with my photos and they were all kind of blue toned this week so it's going to end up being a slightly cooler spread than normal. Um, and I also had a lot of three by fours, I didn't have a lot of four by six photos. I did actually take more photos than this but um, they're not necessarily photos that I'm going to put on Project Life. Uh, they probably have more longer stories, so they're going to end up in a traveler's notebook rather than on this spread. So I just picked out four of the little 3x4 photos and the one 4x6, um, and then I grabbed out some of the cards. So I've gone with kind of a teal and red theme, um, which reminds me very much of Retro Hip Mama. Um, and and I'm, all I'm going to do now is go through the millions of die cuts in this ephemera pack and I'm definitely not going to make you watch me do all that because it did take some time. Um, I'm just pulling out ones that um, I either know I'm going to use or think I might use um, and not just on this spread but um, probably on um, maybe the next couple of spread, uh, spreads of Project Life. Just ones that I, I think I'm definitely going to use. Uh, obviously in a pack with that many I'm never going to use them all in one go, so I just uh, find it easier to pull out ones that suit my style or phrases that I enjoy more so that I've got less to sort through each time. It really helps with that sort of decision fatigue. So you can see I just shuffled the photos around a little bit um, just to try and balance things out with the words because I used that good things happened card and I really loved the be gentle with yourself die cut. I didn't want those two things sitting side by side so I've just shuffled all of those cards and photos around so that I can have a bit more balance there. Now. Don't get me wrong, I love these gold alphas, love, love, love them, but obviously gold is not going to work for this week. So I wanted to do a little experiment here and that was to see can I recolor these alphas with my stays on ink because black would be so much more convenient this week. Um, and the, the short answer is yes you can, the long answer is it's a bit more complicated than I thought it was going to be. So. Uh, what I did was I used the plastic packaging and now I have no packaging for my alphas so next time I will use spare packaging um, and definitely use a stays on ink you're gonna need um, an alcohol ink for this one I stuck the letters onto the packaging and then it worked best to kind of flip the packaging over and kind of press it onto the pad and I suspect that this would not work as well um, on a drier pad this pad is particularly juicy um, so that worked really well I did go away and dry it with my hair dryer really gently because I'm super impatient um, and then I had to go and wash my hands because man was that a messy process so um, gloves might be an idea as well for this but you'll see I did end up with black alphas um, and so I, they, they're not perfectly dry so I am being super careful when I'm putting them on not to smudge ink all over this um, really pale teal card but I, I'm really pleased with that I'm pleased with the way it worked I mean obviously if you've got other colors of stays on ink then that would probably work too but the black works for most alphas I find. You've seen me um, change cardboard alpha stickers before but these, um, I don't know what they're made of, plastic I guess, puffy alphas, it worked as well. So good to know. Now I'm not worrying about a label again this week. It's not going to be a huge rule for myself um, this year for my project live so I'm just date stamping underneath and so far this is a pretty plain looking title card. Um, the rest of the spread is quite busy so I don't want to add too much to this but um, you know you'll know how I feel about this sheet of puffy, puffy heart stickers. I you know my heart skipped a beat when I saw it so I'm gonna add just a few of those. I'm not gonna add them to the rest of my spread because like I said that I, I feel like it's looking quite busy already there's lots of words and cards and colors so I'm just gonna leave those as a feature of the title card and it also pulls that red into the top the red and the pink um, and just ties together that colors, color scheme. 
So I'm going to add this really large die cut onto my photo and it sort of fit perfectly. Um, if I had reprinted the photo I would have maybe done it a bit smaller. But it worked really nicely and then I added all of my journaling for the week onto that one journaling card. So the rest of my cards are going to be quite simple. Uh, the little heart card, I just added one die cut to it and because it is going to end up in a 4x6 pocket I am just taping it to the photo next to it. Now this was quite a cool little prompt card I decided to add in as well. It's not really journaling so much as just little snippets from the week, maybe rules for a good life. Um, I just added a few thoughts from the week into there and then taped that again to the photo because that's going to go into a 4x6 pocket as well. Now the rest of my spread is really just going to be stamps because I always love the stamps from Citrus Twist so much and these ones are really pretty. I mean obviously the theme for this month is love stories. Um, this spread has so many different types of love on it. Um, I thought it was really appropriate. So um, self care and obviously my new little nephew Jack and the overwhelming love that I have for him. There's my little Lil Lil on there. There's a photo of me driving home. Um, home is a big part <laughs> of my love story so that was super appropriate too. So I was just really pleased that this um, quite heavily themed stamp set. It actually does fit regular life as well, not just, you know, romantic stories. So you can see all I'm doing is basically adding stamps to these photos. The little one of Jack, I did add that tiny die cut above um, that says hold me, um, just because I couldn't not. It was too beautiful. Now I don't normally stamp over the subject of a photo like this but I didn't have anywhere else to stamp this photo of Lily so it went over her head into the white space there and I don't mind how it looks. So that's this week all done and I am really enjoying how this turned out. If you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. If you want to keep watching there's a couple more videos on screen otherwise I'll see you next time. Bye guys!